Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk. We are playing as Molly today because we are very keen to pay off Molly's debt and we've got a few things to move into Molly's house and I even thought that we might make a new tile for maybe some new plaza areas inspired by the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages dungeon that we played yesterday. It's got a really cool floor pattern. If you saw the Let's Play, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, it's, it's not too dissimilar to this path, actually. But I thought if we have time, maybe we could see if we can make that and see what it looks like in City Folk. And maybe we can make kind of a few off areas or maybe pave some stepping stones or something like that. And we'll just have a play around and see what it looks like. But yes, thank you so much for joining me today. It doesn't look like we need this umbrella. But we do need this, and we're going to go ahead and pick these up. And once more is... Pete was here just a second ago. Where's he ran off to? Here he is. Hey, sorry I take a lot of heat if I'm late on my deliveries. Pete just delivered the latest DLC. Um, they're mostly duplicates these days. We've got pretty much all the DLC. Um, but it was this morning, which I thought was called a shaved ice lamp. So... I thought we do need a lamp inside our house, so I thought we may as well keep the DLC this time. Instead of throwing it in storage like I normally do, is actually put it out on display because it is a lamp after all. We could all always change it for something different. Um, but we definitely need some kind of a lamp in here. So we'll go ahead and there we go. It just lights up the room. It's so cool. And it's quite playful as well. So. Yes, and we have a music player, which is cool. Right, we've got a couple of other items that we got left over from Mori, so we might as well jump straight into this. Let's put the umbrella away. Do we need anything else out? Where is our slingshot? There we go. This is our bells we can put away, and we've just got a bureau, which we've already got. Oh, no. I always get these confused up. We've got two... What are these called? Dr uh, drawers, maybe. What are these called? A dresser. There we go. So I always get dresser and bureau mixed up for some reason. I, when I think of bureau, I always think of something wide for some reason. Um, but look, it's actually different to this one. This is like a bureau. That one's a bureau. This one's a wardrobe or a cupboard. So it's really cool that there's actually two different ones. So maybe we'll put these next to each other. Um, I still think we've got a couple of things to get before we really try to design this room um but yeah anyway moving on we've got a table always so massive aren't they they're just absolutely ginormous these tables but again we're not doing too much so we'll just stick it in the corner for now and what was the last one that we ordered was it a chair oh it was the stereo oh but we've got this thing the, the sweets player I wonder if we should keep the sweets player or keep the stereo because the stereo is just too cool as well and it definitely goes with it doesn't it let's turn this off and put on this one does it have a little animation on it yay it has like a little radio old school stereo animation Okay, I guess we don't need the sweets player then, but I'll probably just throw that in storage because, again, that's a DLC item um, that we are just kind of keeping a few of them. Molly's accumulating them now as well. I think every player's got at least a couple of drawers full of DLC items. Let's stick this on the table just to tidy up a little bit. We're not going to do too much decorating. There's actually not too much decorating that needs to be done, um, in all fairness, because a lot of items are already in here. We probably wouldn't change it too much. I do want to get a few more lovely items in here though. I want to kind of mix and match the lovely furniture and some more games maybe and playful pieces and mix them up with the, the kitty furniture. So uh, so yeah, okay, let's go and try and accumulate some more bells because we want to try and clear the debt today. With this 50,000 bells that we got from Mori yesterday, we've more than half our debt so we should be able to clear it off in fact let's go and pay this off first so we have a good idea and then we can really get in this in the spirit of kind of earning bells getting that debt paid oh might as well grab these weeds on the way past who's that another is it this oh no brocco like i never couldn't remember what you look like hey there molly it's the perfect day for walking around outside don't you think squeaky a day without something going on in moriland is kind of like a superhero without a cape that's such a cool, like, 
not definition, what's the word? Metaphor, I guess. Um, or an analogy, maybe. I mean, sure, it's okay, but just like everyone loves a flashy cape, everyone also loves a party. Well, I guess. What kind of party is it? Would it be like a street party? Didn't it rain yesterday? No, it didn't, did it? Because we ended up watering some flowers, so we missed a lot of flowers. Okay, we can water some on the way to the um, town hall. There we go. Any more weeds in here? Nope, still only five weeds. But yes, okay, we've got plenty of bells, so I, I think we could probably just harvest some fruit. It's the easiest way almost to basically um, get bells. This is looking really cute, and this tree grew! How sweet are they at that height? <laughs> the same height as a player after one day. Hey Gwen, do you like our new flower garden? Oh, hello Molly, I hope you're doing well. Uh, hey, I've made a decision. Oh no, don't say you're leaving. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to go to school to get a better, better at trying new recipes. There aren't any events for a while, so trying new recipes will keep me busy. Oh, it's, at, wait, there is an event. This is like bunny day at the weekend, isn't there? Which also, thanks for reminding me. Great event to take part in if we want to clear some mortgages. We can just, oh, there's a thing here. We can literally just spam that event as much as possible and sell the items. We've already got the egg furniture. And we've even got some duplicates in Mary's storage. So it's going to be a really good event to just kind of almost milk it for Easter eggs and Bunny Day eggs. So we can get the bells and then pay off some mortgages. Because Maury is the only one that's have cleared all mortgages. So um, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd thank you for suggesting that in the comments. I totally didn't even think about that. We would have probably played it anyway. Especially since it's not in Wild World. <laughs> right, anyway, we are going to the Town Hall to pay our debt, but we'll just check this rock. No. Okay, let's go and pay this 50,000 bells. It should leave us with about... I can't remember now. I don't want to say in case it's wrong. I always seem to forget how much debt we have left. I think we have 75,000 left. Yes, we do. So if we pay off 50... A goal of 25,000 bells today is super doable. It's like three trips with the with the fruit and, and maybe some fossils or the money rock. If we want to go ahead and try to get the 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 fossils. We spent a lot of time on the fossils yesterday. Maybe we should maybe we should leave the fossils for today. If we see them, we'll dig them up. Um, is that weed over here? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey Simon. Still rocking the Mer uh, the Mori plays shirt. Squeaky, I found you, Molly. I've been working on an investigative investigative report on napping and furniture. Thing is, I still need to do a few more field tests on TV tastic furniture. So if you happen to get a piece, uh, uh, get a hands on a piece of TV tastic furniture, could I have it? Okay, so what, like a, a bed or a couch or something like that? If you'd said no, I would have been all deflated, like a squished marshmallow. So thanks for helping me out. No problem. The pressure of finding furniture for villagers. We have enough of that of our own. Um, right, let's go. We don't need to go in there right now. Ooh, what's blocking us? Did I, was I just walking into the tree? Okay, I think I was just walking into the tree there. Right, we're going to slowly make our way around to the fruit orchard and start harvesting those. We can do that pretty quickly, but we'll keep our eye open for fossils as well. Ed, what are you doing hiding behind a tree? Were you there all along? Were you listening to me and Gwen a minute ago? Yo, Molly, you're looking stoked. Did you steal that look from me? Uh, those Able sisters, uh, Sable and Mabel, get along really well. It's kind of weird because in the shop they seem sort of claws out with each other. Yeah, we didn't, didn't we go through this like ye literally yesterday with you or someone. Oh, what's happening? Who pinged us? <laughs> A while back, I caught, uh, I got caught in the middle of a gnarly spat between those two Taylor sisters. Even these biceps couldn't keep the peace, so I just sat back and watched the fireworks. It figures that in the end, Sable would win the argument. Don't get me wrong, Mabel's a stubborn one, and she kept on huffing and puffing for a while. But experience wins the fight, and Sable's just got more of it. Why are we gossiping so much about the Able sisters? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't think we've ever heard them before fighting. Oops. 
Just watering our rock, our daily rock. Oops. Good job it was the wrong rock. Forgot we were carrying our axe as well. Okay, we need to look in the sh in Nookingtons as well to see if we can find something to sit on for Simon. Well, Simon, wasn't it? Right, find the money rock. So this will give us a good boost. So we won't need to do so many fruit runs, really. There we go. We'll keep a look out for the fossils, of course, just in case. Um, but there's normally one around here somewhere. Okay, let's harvest some fruit and go and check the store. See if we can find anything to lay or sit on for Simon. Hopefully it's like a hammock or something would be really cool. Because I don't know if they're going to put it in, if he's going to put it in his house. But I'm kind of excited to go and make this new floor tile. Um, it might be nice to have some different plaza areas or even different paths that don't necessarily match um, the ones that we've got everywhere. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that'll do. We'll just do these ones and then we'll have a check inside. Probably should just drop the fossil somewhere. I don't know if we're going to bother ourselves with fossils today. Oh, a special item. There we go. So we only need another 9,000 bells. So we're going to get through this pretty quickly. Still no silver slingshot though. I don't think we're ever going to get a silver slingshot. Anything that we can sit on. Oh, we've got a couch. I don't know if you can sit on a urinal. <laughs> Why are we all haunted by toilet items in Animal Crossing? Let's buy this. It's definitely a TV-tastic item, isn't it? I don't think we need anything else. Okay, so what we'll do is go and find Simon. Drop this... Um... Drop this fossil by the plaza. And then we can go ahead and try and make our 9,000 bells. We'll worry about the fossils another day. Yes, they all look good. In fact, while we're here, let's give them a little water. Um, <laughs> I only just put these away, didn't I? There we go. Just so we can try and keep on top of these at least. So we don't want to have to keep trying to replace these flowers. This is definitely a high maintenance garden. Gold Jacob's Ladders Garden. Golden Golden Jacob's Ladders Garden. I don't know. I can't think of a cool name for this garden, but it's definitely a high maintenance garden. Right. Okay then. Let's head over. Hopefully Simon's still over where he was. Around here somewhere. Where, where was he actually? Was he, near, he was near our house, wasn't he? Oh no, who's over here? Is something the matter, Molly? Take this! I can't remember where you were. But we found you anyway. Huh? What's this? But I asked you to get something TV-tastic. It is TV-tastic! I'll just give this back and bring me something tv tastic what do you mean? Do you need an actual TV item? Why did we waste our bells? <laughs> How ungrateful. What an ungrateful monkey. Um, yeah, I don't know what TV tastic item is unless he literally means a TV. I don't think we have any spare TVs. I was just looking around for the... Um other fossils but oh I forgot to drop the fossil oh well no forever picking up paths I'm 
just going to stick the fossil in our thing for now. Okay, let's head back. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Always picking up random paths. I really wish there was a way to lock it. If they ever remake this game, I hope they add just a couple of little things like that. Like maybe you could place, say, 30 items outside or something, or 50 items so it wasn't too crazy like New Horizons, but then also fix things like locking paths. It would be so good. That's really all this game is missing is a couple of little things like that. You can have your sofa back. It wasn't TV-tastic. Maybe I totally misread what, uh... What Simon was after. I'm gonna buy these cedar trees as well because we're still trying to actively thicken our forest. Right, so we need 5,000 more bells. So technically that is one beach run or one fruit run, isn't it? go ahead and we'll worry about these another time so I'm just gonna dump these here for now and drop in fact I'm gonna get rid of that letter as well okay oops right one more fruit run and we should have paid off our entire loan Hey. Most of the TV items, to be fair, are event items, aren't they? Like, the is there an egg TV? Things like that. They tend to be like, like the jingle TV. They tend to be like event items, don't they? Okay, this should surpass the amount we need and then we should be able to go and clear our debt and then hopefully I can never remember if there's a second upstairs expansion or not. You'd think I'd know after doing three other houses but it was so long ago. It's little details like that I always forget. But hopefully this is the basement. And we mustn't forget to talk to Tom Nook again afterwards. So we'll go ahead now and do that. I'm pretty excited to go ahead and get this paid off. And then we can work on a little path design. And we'll do it as Molly because we can test a few little areas, making maybe some new plazas. But if we want to, we can put it on display in Ables and then Maury could use it to maybe replace all the paths if we wanted to. Okay, let's uh, let's get this debt paid. It's been a long time coming. Pay mortgage. Uh, your remain dead is zero. Thank you for stopping by. Tall Simon doesn't even wake up to congratulate us, but Pelly does. There's enough energy there for the both of them. <laughs> Yahoo! No more debt for me! My house is all paid off. Nice. Now we need to go and speak to um, Tom Nook again, just to kind of trigger the upgrade or the house expansion. And we should be good. Yeah, imagine we covered our entire town in gold roses and Jacob's ladders. That would be so impressive, but it just wouldn't happen because you just wouldn't be able to maintain it. It would be good for like a, a dream address or something. Uh, thanks much for paying off all your home renovation loan. And how are you finding your house currently? Hmm, comfortable? Hmm, you have too much furniture and not enough space for it all, you say. 
Well, I guess I could take a few things off your hands. Ah, how about we dig a basement under your house? It'll take a little money though. And based on your good credit history, I have no worries about repayment. So you want to renovate your place, yes? I'll do that. Well, well, how generous. What happens if you say no? Does he just keep bringing it up every time you go in? Or is it like a once a day thing? If this is what you wish, I will gladly renovate your house. Hmm. So what color would you like your roof to be? We're going to stick with yellow. That seems to be Molly's theme. Uh, very good. Yes, your new roof is going to be yellow. Got it. Now, the construction should be completed by tomorrow. So get ready to be impressed. Okay, how much is it? <laughs> how much is it going to be? I think City Folk has some of the cheapest house upgrades, though, to be fair. Apart from the GameCube version, which has like only one up, or oh, like one other room. <laughs> um, okay, so that is the basement sorted. So we should now be able to head to the Able Sisters and see about do. Actually, we don't even need to go to the Able Sisters to do it, do we? But we'll go there anyway. That way, we can have a little bit of a, a shop as well, just in case. It's nice being in the Able Sisters to do patterns and stuff because it's weird just being able to do it on the go. Uh, hi there, welcome to Handmade Fashion Palace, the Able Sisters. Oh, we've got the Santa hat. How seasonal. Oh, wow. That's really cute. A cloudy shirt. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. I'm going to put that in, the, in our room. I've not seen that before, I don't think. That's really cute. Okay. Hey, everyone. Right, let's get this sorted. So, we're going to have to do a new design because we've got a few pro designs and this is a Wendell design. Edit this. Um, is this the grid? Yep, there we go. Right, so I'm going to make a tile that is seen, hopefully, in or Zelda Oracle of Ages. Um, actually, it might be best just to go... Oh, actually, let's do... Let's just change it. I need the grey one. Is this grey? Yeah, okay, so... I need it to be a light gray. We can change it all at the end. So I need a, a, a kind of a white. Can we do all of it? Let's just do. There we go. So white. And then we need like a, a medium one because it's 16 by 16. So this is a Game Boy texture. So it might look a little bit too bulky on this. Um, and then we only need two grey. So we need like maybe maybe this row here might be good or maybe we'll do these two and that one or maybe these three here. So let's do this one. So we've got to just go we want three. You'll have to excuse me while I'm just kind of talking myself through this. I'm trying to copy it off the screen in front of me. And then it goes all the way up to here. It's so hard to draw on with a Wii remote. <laughs> like that, and then like this, and that's three across, I think. And then we can go up. It's quite a basic pattern. And then here is to just go like this I think um, okay let me just do something real quick there we go so I'm just looking at the screen sorry right so I'm just dividing up the thing I can see on screen it's a little texture that I've got I took it from a screen literally a screenshot so I'm doing it off a screenshot from our Zelda let's play there's one there and there's what's that the fourth one along so two three four it's not going to look like much until we're done so we'll just do a quarter tile at a time to see what it looks like let's try the darker one first the darker one it might be a little bit too dark um two three but we can change all the colors at the end to be so steady with the Wii remote. There we go. So that is the pattern in of the first corner. In fact, I might just stick with the dark one because I think we it'll be easier just to fill in the, the blanks afterwards. And then three more across here. 
three, four, there we go, it has one next to it. And then this goes down, oopsie. This goes down to the levels of concentration right now. And then it's two diagonals. And the key is to make it loop. You can kind of see if it's shaping already. It's just a stone tile, basically. I think these might be a little bit too dark, um, but we'll change them in a second. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the dark one, darker ones now. There's only three colors because it is a Game Boy texture. Um, so that's three down, isn't it? From here, we've got one up like that. There we go. And it's three across. We're doing this pretty quickly. And into the corner. So far, I don't think there's any mistakes. I do believe it's almost mirrored. So this one's gonna be here, but like flipped over. And the same as this one's kind of that one, but flipped over and mirrored. One. Like that. Uh, oh, that was right. One, two, three. One, two. Right, that should be all of the those ones done. One there, there, and there. This whole area. Like this. There we go. Uh, slowly taking shape. There's just some highlights. Like the white bits are just kind of like the highlights. There's one in the center there. Uh, oops. Just overlapped a little bit. And then that whole area is actually filled in. Like the same as that one. And then we're almost done actually. We're definitely gonna have to change up the colors a little bit. That one, and there's just one, oops. It's so sensitive. Right, and then here. It goes all the way down to there. I think. There we go, that is the tile. It doesn't look very, it looks kind of cool as a shirt, but I think we need to change the, how dark the dark one is. So I might just quickly change these. It might have looked okay actually on the floor. Um, oh, I've missed a couple. I've missed a couple. Oops. I've missed one here. Oh, no. Missed those two. And no. There we go. And that now matches that one. So I think that's right. So that is, looks okay. To, is there one here? No, there's not one there. Why is there not one there? There totally should be one there. <gasps> there's an error on the actual, there's an error on the actual Zelda sprite. There should totally be one there. That's weird. I wonder if they did that on purpose. It just, it doesn't look right without it. There should totally be one there. How weird! They did, They missed it off on the actual sprite in the Zelda game. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe we'll leave it off because there's what there's also one missing here. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. We could always add it. Let's leave it how it is in the game. And we'll just call this Ages. No, let's call it um, Zelda. Oops. How many letters we got? Um, Zelda. 
Can we fit ages in as well? Ages. Tile. Zelda ages tile. It looks kind of cool. So there we go. Um, um, before we do anything, I'm just going to put it out on display. Um, let's put it on one of the train tracks. And then we can go and see what it looks like out in the wild. Uh, display mine! I don't mind. But yeah, you can see there's one missing here because it should mirror this one. And there's one missing there that should mirror this one. Oh wow, it looks kind of cool as an umbrella. Right, let's go and see if we can make a mini plaza somewhere. That's kind of all I wanted to do. Um, was make a new path because we're not very good at making them, but let's see what they look like next to the existing path Yeah, it doesn't look like an actual path, but it does look like the Zelda dungeon And it does go together quite well um, It's a shame we can't get a better view from up. I think from a bird's eye view would make it look a little bit better but maybe, maybe we could make the, is there an even lighter? What about this one? I'm thinking if we could do, um, do you think it would be better if we did this? That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Oh no, we have to write this out again. Um, at least we can always change the colors. We are, we're not changing the, the design. There we go, that looks much better. That looks much better. Um, but yeah, we could maybe do a little plaza like that somewhere. It's a little bit too close to this one, isn't it? But it, we, we might be able to use it somewhere else. Maybe around the house or something. Or oh, we could even fill in. <laughs> we could even fill in plots. I wonder what that would look like. Too much concrete. Do you know what we should do? We should fill in plots with the flowers. The flower pattern. Of course, now that we have this design, um, we could always change the color palette as well. Oh, none of them, are, they all look a little bit crazy. That's quite a nice one. We'll leave it as it is. Uh, continue, continue without saving, yep. Okay, well we can think on it. I do think that we could put it somewhere. Maybe if we maybe replace some of these paths with a slightly different one so it doesn't look the same all the way around town. Maybe we could have like the lower tier paths be in a different design to the ones in the forest. Just trying to think of somewhere where we could test it. About round. Oh, we found a fossil. I think it looks really cool. I just think with this much other, we might have to revert back to our our brick path. I think, if we're going to use this kind of as a bit of a random plaza, I think. Um, there's nowhere good to really test it, is there? I think we might do that. I think we might eventually revert. We're going to have to use Mori to do it. Revert this tile back to the brick, the round brick one we had, and then we can use this for other ones. Um, 
We need some open space, really. We have done pretty well at covering the entire area, haven't we? <laughs> I wonder what it looked like as a stepping stone. It's not a bad stepping stone. But I think there's too much grey going on with this with this stone grey here. Um but yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad we did it anyway, because it's nice just to kind of bring a classic tile over to city folk and we're not very good at making them so or i'm not very good at making them should i say everyone else is really good at making them um i'm not very good at making them so i feel like that's pretty cool i do think um yeah maybe they'll make some good stepping stones like that and if we change the tiles these ones maybe they'll look much better if we go to maybe like a brown path or something like that but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you think we should change up this path for a back to... The, do you remember the one we had over the winter but a different colour palette? Uh, maybe go for a, a green or a brown or something. And then have some more random stepping stones everywhere just to break up areas like this. I think that looks pretty cool like that. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. More importantly, we paid off our debt today and moved in some furniture into our house. So we should be ready to decorate our basement at some point this week um, and check that out. And and yeah, and we, we did a, a new custom design, which we haven't done too many of either. So I'm quite proud of it. I just think we need to think of somewhere we can use it. Maybe... We can put some around plots or fill in some plots or maybe we can use them as stepping stones or maybe we could just replace the entire path with it. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you, of course, to the channel members as well for supporting us every single day and allowing us a place on YouTube where we can upload daily and just interact with each other and just have really nice uh, gameplay. So thank you to you. Without you, we wouldn't exist. So I hope you know just how awesome you are. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.